Okay, I'll start. Since Mike has only got five more minutes hiding in the toilet from his kids, I'd better make this his last five minutes, to be fair. Uh, good afternoon, one and all, and welcome to... Um, yeah, I've not shaved, I've, I've not brushed my hair, I'm possibly wearing the same clothes I wore yesterday, and if my wife finds out that I'm doing a live video looking like this, she'll haul me by the ear back into the house and give me a kick in. This doesn't really give me a kick in. It's the weekend. She only beats me with a soap and a pillowcase in the week. Anyway, that's going off tangent. Um, here we go. Right. Uh, this is, I, I, to be honest, um, I'm doing this live just now because I was kind of hoping there wouldn't be anybody about and uh, I could just get this done without any questions or interaction and just then go and go on with my day and sit and put my joggers on and, and watch some shit telly. But it looks like I'll have to um, entertain or something like that. Um, right. Hello to all the lovely people that are here live. Um, and uh, hello to anybody that watches this after the event. Thank you for your whatever. Thank you. Just thank you. Ah, uh, did I? Yes. I'm just making sure that I've hidden everything in the background. Yeah, uh, but th there's lots of people here. Uh, ra will we will we start with the vaping stuff, or or will we start with <laughs> Mike? You've obviously been beaten up by your missus quite a lot. Um, right. I think we'll go with the vaping thing first. We'll go with the, we'll go with the Facebook thing. We'll, we'll get it out of the way. Um, GTT Wincam. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Um, what a film. What a film. Um, for those that know, no, um, and it's not GTT Wincam. I just do that for badness. Um, where was I going? Facebook, Facebook, right? For the past, and there's no drama here. There's no, there's nothing to get excited about. There's no, um, I'm, I'm not uh, crying over my porridge or golden syrup and porridge is very nice. Treacle, not so much, and I'm Scottish and I don't put salt in my porridge. I like sugar. Anyway, um, so yeah, so there's no drama here, and I, I'm, I'm not. For those that don't know, we have a Facebook group called The Shed. And I think, I think, must be about four or five years old. Um, but I think we had 4,400 members. We keep, <laughs> we used to have a lot more, but Gillian keeps kicking them out. Um, and I can get away with saying that because I know that she's doing her shopping just now, probably. No, she won't be. She might be. She might actually see this. I have to watch what I say. Gillian's my the the main moderator. She who must be obeyed in the Facebook group. Um, so uh, <laughs> this this is going to be all squirreled, going off on a tangent nonstop. Um, so yeah, Facebook group, and it's been great. There's been, it's just. No drama, no bad mouth and other people and and shit like that. It's just, it's just good banter, and it always has been. Um, and recently, I've been worrying about, you know, YouTube. You know, seeing all these other YouTube reviewers getting strikes and channels taken down and whatnot. So, I've been worrying about that. The last thing I expected was Facebook to come along behind my back and remove the group. <laughs> Just boom. Um, three o'clock this morning. I woke up as you do when you're over 50. Um, and uh, and I thought, I'll just check my messages and uh, look through my emails. And Facebook has removed your group because it did not meet the community guidelines or standards or, or something like that. Gone. Boom. Done. That's it. Um, I've appealed it. You do get a chance to appeal it. Uh, but I doubt very much will come from that. Um, it's, so it's probably dead. But we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. So, um, yeah. Uh, 
I've not had a Facebook notification all morning. It's amazing. I've gone from constantly getting notifications about stuff going on in the group to zoop, nothing. So, um, a couple of years ago, uh, there's um, Scott Noah. A lot of you all know Scott already. Scott went about setting up, uh, you know, vaping in style. Um, well, he set up basically a, a vaping Facebook alternative. And I got to te help test it when he was setting it up. But I never actually went ahead. Sorry, Scott. And actually set up the shed as a group on there. Because I never thought it would be an issue and I never thought I would need it. So I never bothered. Anyway, today, this morning, I went and set up uh, a group on Vaping Style Network. Um, I don't know if I can post links and shit like that here or, or whatever. Um, actually, there's a go. I'll, I'll, yeah, let's, let's, if anybody's, um, if anybody's at all interested, that is. Can I... Copy that. Can I paste that in there? There's a link. I've just posted in chat. If anybody's interested. Um, so uh, yeah, so I'm setting up in there now. There are lots of people joining, and and hopefully it'll take off. But there's also the possibility that Facebook will reinstate the old group. We don't know. Um, as much as Scott's is very similar to Facebook and it has lots of vaping modders uh, modders groups and all the rest of it um, in some respects it's a bit different and everybody's ingrained into you know we're all into Facebook you know we're been using it for so long and um, and going to something new is um, yeah, not everybody likes change, especially me uh, at my age. I don't like change. Uh, I don't like change. Um, and uh, met us up to something. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm just reading through chat here. And, and once again, good hello to everybody that's in chat. Um, I did actually go and set up a Discord account. And I had a quick look at it this morning. Um, obviously in an old life uh, I used to be an IT trainer so I had to go and learn uh, software applications and, and write manuals and then teach people how to use it so as much as I make out that I'm potentially thick as shit um, I do kind of know my way around stuff um, and I think I would have to go and use, I've never used Discord for anything I've never used it for anything, uh, so I would obviously have to go and dive in deep into that. Um, so I don't know, I really don't know. Uh, it's just I went, I opened up something quickly in VSN because it's quite intuitive, not just for me but for other people that maybe just want another group set up. So um, yes, it's Sasha. Hi, right, Budley. Can't believe you're not going to the Hall of Vape. That's uh, that's that's quite upsetting. That means there will be no racky. What am I going to drink? What am I going to drink? Uh... <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you. So so that's that's it for the Facebook stuff. Um... World's gone a little bit. Do you know, I, w I wouldn't mind so much if it was a Facebook group where it, how can I put this? It was a shit group. We were all a bunch of shits. We were horrible about everybody. We, politics, and, and we were just nasty about everybody. And But the number one rule in that shed, in that group is don't be a dick. That's the first rule is don't be a dick. Um, but what's the point? What's the point in morning? Um, oh, you are going. 
that's made my day. Oh, happy man. Uh, happy man. Is Vanya going? Is Van? Van going? Um, uh, it's a fucking jungle. Well, wouldn't you get it going? It rocks. I'll send you a couple of app servers if you want to try. I may come knocking on your door for some guidance at some point. We'll, we'll wait and see how things pan out. But thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. Um, when is Elon buying Facebook? Is he not backed out of the... Sorry, this is going off in one. Did he not back out on Twitter? Sorry, the last thing I thought it was it was on hold because he was disputing all the fake accounts on Twitter. Maybe wrong, maybe wrong. Um... Right, vape, vaping stuff. Let's just look at some vape stuff. Oh, uh, John, just start another group. If you start another group, then, you know, it's like building a house in sand. You know, there's no strong foundations there. It's It could be... <laughs> Sorry, there's no foundation. You know, you've had the rug pulled under from under you once. Why, why go through all that again in that platform? It's just anyway. Um, <laughs> it's not going. There's people in German, <laughs> but there's alcohol. <laughs> that's that's one reason he may go. There's alcohol. Um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, whilst, whilst we're talking about um, shite, <laughs> things that really don't make the world go round, um, because the, um, <laughs> because all these YouTube uh, channels have been getting Demonet not demonetized, uh, shut down and all the rest of it, and strikes. Um, I started marking all my videos as um, over 18. There's two options. You can mark your video when you upload it as not for children. And then you can also mark your video as not suitable for anybody under the age of 18. Now, I've never, and most reviewers don't do the over 18 thing, because as soon as you do that, it means that you can't embed the video as well you can but yeah you have to be logged into youtube you have to verify who you are with youtube before you can see the video and it basically means that you get half the views it just halves it straight off the bat um but rather than running the risk of the youtube channel getting shut down i i'm going back down that route again uh but so if you're getting asked to sign in, I'm sorry, uh, but it's just a preventative measure uh, that, um, just gotta wait and see. Um, the shed yard, open it again. The shed yard is, is still there. I don't know for how long. I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Um, it, uh, even RC groups have been taken down as well and other groups oh can we talk about rc groups do we want to talk about rc cars and rock crawl no you probably don't want to talk about rock crawlers uh, just don't get your youtube shut down then how would i get my naps martin i was just i was joking with you buddy don't worry about it never worry about it never worry about it uh, dennis good afternoon sir how the hell are you um uh, Graham's <laughs> over 18. I believe you. Right, so that's all the boring stuff uh, that um, you can now go and forget about. Uh, this is where I insert my message uh, to try and get you all to join my Patreon. Nah. Uh, right, uh, vape stuff. Um, and uh, let's let's um, let's have a look at some stuff. Uh, my light is on. There's no dog today. He's um, he's um, yeah. He's he's in the house. Uh, he's in the house. So um, <laughs> an RC sportsman. I'm not RC. Uh, right. 
What can I show you? I'll tell you what, I'll show you what I'm vaping on just now. Pod! And everybody runs for the hills and goes, you must be joking. Not another one. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking. But um, I needed beer money this month, so I agreed to do a review for this. Um, I fired it up yesterday morning. Um, short and sweet version. It's got, I don't know, 40, 60 watts. Uh, I'm, I'm, it doesn't tell me. It does uh, 40 watts. Sorry, 40 watts. You see, I've not even read the manual yet. Not that I will read the manual. Um, but things I can tell you. It's a 5 mil tank. Replaceable coils. This is a 0 0.3 ohm coil. And vaping it at 30 watts, the battery, which is 1600 milliamps, lasted me 5 mil. I got a full, one full tank at 30 watts. Um, so 5 mil of juice, which is how you should really measure uh, a battery life anyway. It shouldn't be, I got so many puffs, because everybody vapes differently. So how many puffs you get out of a battery is pointless. I got 5 mil of juice at 30 watts, or 29 watts actually. Um, adjustable airflow, which I would just like to say that, you know, if I was going to make a pod, you know, I would want adjustable airflow like this. Sasha, see, that's how you do it. Adjustable airflow, changeable coils. You can put a mouth to lung coil in it, adjust the airflow. You've got a mouth to lung at it. See, he doesn't listen to me. But anyway, that's this, this has actually been all right. The only thing I will say is that the first five mil of juice that I went through it, um, the flavor just, it just, bleh. it took ages to get going. Uh, it, it took absolute ages to get going. I'd say a good three, four mil before I start getting good flavor out of it. Um, so. Uh, yeah, um. I'm not a, don't get me wrong, I mean, I don't have a collection of pods in my shelf, and I never will, I never will, um, but I'm not that stupid that I'm going to say pods are the devil and um, and we should never use them, because if you get the coil right, uh, looks like the Aspire 1. I'm not up in my pod system, so... Uh, I'll, I'll have to um, aspire one e-sig. Um, can't find it. Anyway, I'll trust you. Hey, listen, it's from China. It's gonna it's gonna look like something else. Let's face it. Uh, but no, I've I've been enjoying that. So so far, there is a shit ton of coils, different coils for it. So I'll work my way through the this one, the 0 0.3, and I'll go the opposite end, the mouth to lung one, and and see if it's any good. Uh, so that there's that. I've been going with that. Um, why is it vapors always have this thing about they have to identify a new mod or device with an old one? It doesn't matter what you hit. I mean, I could pull out a a rock with a drip tip on it and go this is a new doodah and I guarantee somebody will say that reminds me of such and such or that looks like such and we can't help ourselves it's just a thing vapors do uh, Aspire Breeze ah hang on oh it's not as wide as an expire it's not it's Yes, I'm 21. Um, come on, come on, come on. Um, no. 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 Oh, I do like the way you film that. That's quite smart. Anyway, armour. Yes, it looks like an armour. <laughs> because everything looks like an armour. Because... Darren invented everything. 
Darren is the new is the new Emio. I'm only joking. Um, right. What else can I show you? Let's let's show you. Oh, I had a I had a little. Uh, I bought something. Uh, I, in a moment of weakness. In a moment of weakness, I bought a thing. Yes, the only thing worse than a pod system just now is a borrow mod. Um, so this is the Unica. 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 Uh, it's the Duda from the Italian boys. Um, Art and Mod. Obviously, you can see Art and Mod there. Um, I bought this second hand. Thank you, Harry. Uh, and this is obviously, this is not a drip tip that comes with it. That comes with another drip tip. Uh, no, it didn't come with a drip tip. It comes with um, a Duda for the 510, for the this. I will say that hybrid drip tips fit on this. I have been able to get my other drip tips threaded into here. Um, 18650 battery, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, fire button here, uh, push button, push button. Uh, to get the door off is one of my first pay little niggles. Is it's, it's just there we go. Um, you know, you have to, you can see bits of nail. <laughs> Sorry, that's disgusting. Uh, but you have to get your nail in there and pull it out. So, but uh, yeah. I, I actually let my SVA go. I let the SVA go. Um, and I was never going to bother with this one because I thought it was very SVA-like. But I think I'm actually finding, I think it's more BXR. See what I'm doing? I'm actually comparing it to another e-cig. We just can't help ourselves. Um, I think it's... The... It's got to be said that the BXR wins on the button. I think the firing button on the BXR is superb. I think this is actually better looking than a BXR, but uh, uh, and it's tight. I think it's a bit tidier than the SVA. The firing button's in a better location than the SVA. Um, I did have a problem with this when I got it though. Um, the negative contact. So underneath these two screws. There's like a wire comes up, you know, basically runs up here and there's uh, a little plate underneath here and the short and sweet version is, uh, the short and sweet version is that this was actually, there was a big gap, there was a gap where this plate, uh, it basically it was, uh, it was an issue, it was an issue um, and, and I think it was a, uh, it's all but gone now. It wasn't Harry's fault, the, the guy I bought it from. It, it was obviously from you. Um, so I, I took a file out and I filed down that uh, contact. Uh, it was, say, like about three or four mil thick. I took about a mil and a half off of it. And then when I screwed the top plate back down, it was flat. So, so yes, um, it shouldn't be like that. But it was. Um, so, yes, I sorted the gap. I sorted the gap. Uh, I'm actually vaping with the EUC bridge from Monarchy. Um, it's got a name, and I can't remember what it is, but I'm sure there's somebody in here that will remember the name. Um, so there's that, and yes, it's definitely not cheap. <laughs> it's not cheap. Um, I got it for a really good price, uh, but I knew it's about 570 euros for the standard one. Um, hang on, there's, there's chat and stuff here that uh, I might have missed. Uh, Jason of the Great Awakening. Because fax machine is telephone with waffle iron attached. The internet is fax machine with billboards. Thank you. Hmm, pearls of wisdom there. Uh, use a file and not a hammer. Very impressive. Uh, it is a DNA 60 gram. Uh, but there is no USB port. No USB port. Um, Pre-mob. 
thank you very much, Shane thank, and Jacob. Thank you very much for keeping me right as always. Um, and I did remember to remove the O-ring from the 510 nut this time so that when I unscrewed it, I didn't pull the pre-mob a bit to bits and then have juice go everywhere. I always get caught out with that one. Um, oh, um, new RTA from Monarchy, not far away, hopefully. Yasek, if you're watching this, stop making bread. Um, send tank. Now. Um, so there's that. Um, other things. No, I'll not do the pioneer stuff just yet. Uh, right, this. I'll, I'll just... Um, uh, <laughs> Zuck's da sells Avon. <laughs> Your da works for Avon. Um, right. A little update on this. The Taita. Uh, by, is it Vipon? Vipon. Um, I, um, yeah. They're sending out new ones. Uh, they're sending out new ones pretty much because, um, and I will mention it during the review because it, you have to. Well, well, you should mention it uh, that uh, this one when it arrived was uh, right the the battery cap, <laughs> the battery cap. <laughs> let's see if it does it here we go can you see it's see the pins the pins that hold this together are 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 not they're not punched in you know they're not punched they're not glued or punched in they just fall out so then this bit just falls out um so so that was a bit shit uh, out the box um i should insert a plug for unboxing and patrons here but screw that shit anyway um the other thing is is that uh, the resistance reading on this when you compare it to a dna 60 or uh anything uh, any other board this seems to read about 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 out so the board's not reading what it should um and obviously this is a dot ai this is a dot aio device um the other thing is the other thing that i had an issue with is that um when i use any of the other dot rbas that i have I get the same resistance reading or, or allowing for that 0 0.5 uh, variance. I get the same thing. However, and it doesn't jump about, if I use their RBA, um, it this moves about and the resistance fluctuates. It, it jumps about quite badly. So their own RBA, is it almost seems like it's not tight enough in the device so yeah there we go so there's the title so there will be a review coming i know it's been out for four months and uh, everybody and their dogs already reviewed it but um i didn't see anybody saying bad things about it or talking about resistant movement anyway maybe i'm making it up uh is the tank in the right way you dick no need for that <laughs> Thank you, Michael, for reminding me of my past mistakes. That's not fair. So there we go. That's that's the tight. I really wanted to like it because I really wanted another dot. Where's it going? Oh, it's there. Obviously, I'm using the silo, the, the upcoming silo tank, um, which fits in a dot. It's a dot tank and it holds 4.4 mil of juice and I love it to bits but I just wanted to use it in another device and it just just that should have been brilliant but for me it's it it failed it kind of, it's, well so far it's failed um go and watch some other reviews maybe people think it's awesome uh right quick vape
pack the gaps with Muji. Or hit it with a hammer. Hit it with a hammer, Mick. It's the way. It's the way. Uh, right. Are you ready for the the most awesome thing? I am glad to report Squonking is not dead. It is the future. It's coming back. You heard it here first. Um, who said that? Squonking's dead. No. Where did that come from again? Was that a Rip Tripper thing? I can never remember. Uh, listen to this. Are you listening? You won't hear anything because I've not got a battery in the device. That's rather embarrassing. Uh, stick with me. There is a battery. Oh no, hang on, I switched it off. <laughs> Listen to this. You listening? You hear that? <laughs> This is the pump that I had to read. It was written on it. The Pump Squonker by a Cross Vape and Duffo. Um The heat always comes back to Rip. I never minded Rip. Do you know Rip, Rip was... You knew where you were. You know what I mean? You knew what you were getting. Um, Anyway, that's that's a whole other conversation. Um, here we go. Oh, hang on. I've got another camera that I can show you up close. Right, I've had this for about a week now. Um, and, um, and yeah, I've, I've, I've... Short and sweet version. Right, short and sweet version. Um, stick your dripper on the top or your squonking atty. This is the Nisoko. Uh, one of my favourite little drippers. Uh, I can't actually see what I'm pointing at now because I've not got my glasses on. Here we go, old man. You have, a, I think this is a 9mm bottle of juice. And you kind of... It, I'll, I'll not do what I did in the live unboxing and unscrew it upside down. Little pipe there. Holds juice. It, it's actually... A, it's only polycarb. It, for some reason, I thought it was PCTG or PC1000, but it's it's just polycarb. Um, so 9mm juice, 21700. 21700 battery that goes through here, doesn't pop in. Um, and it's a MOSFET, so it's five clicks on and off, and there's it doesn't do anything fancy. You know, it's not regulate. Well, you know, the power depletes as you use it. And you have a button here. You ready? Hey, hey, hey! Right, um, those that are the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed one thing there. There's no, how can I put it, reverse suction or suck back or, or, yeah, you get what I mean. Uh, so it only pumps, it's, <laughs> Just keep your mind in the game, Mark. Keep your mind in the game. Yeah, only pumps. Um, now, let's get this back on here. And try and not get covered in juice. Um, is it Wilson? Is it Wilson? The Wilson is the name, I think, is the name of the guy that's behind this. And I've spoken to him a few times. Um, and he puts, obviously, he puts across his point of view for why things are the way they are. That's great. Uh, obviously, I, I've been squonking for a long time. Very long time. Uh, and, you know, most people, as old, a lot of you, have been squonking for, were squonking for a long time. And we're used to squonk, just floods into the chamber soaks the cotton and then gets pulled straight back out again that's just the way it works not with this um but it just works the same way uh i've not flooded and my dripper with this once 
take the top cap off, push the button, count how long it takes to soak the deck, and let go. Remember that number, and then uh, when you want to fill your RDA up, you just... And there we go. We're away to go again. Uh, um, Adrian, Chiraba. Um, yeah, poly tank, MOSFET, and pump. Two things to fail. Stick to mix squonkers. Absolutely. Um, pumps and squirts, but no sucky. There's a joke to be had there. Uh, IPV used the same pump in a couple of their mods. Yes, uh, I know it's been done before. Uh, I know IPV and Yehe did it a, a lot more functionality, shall we say. Uh, this is as simple as it gets. I would love to rip, rip this to bits. Um, hand and heart. Once you get your head around the fact that it just pumps juice up to your ate, it doesn't do anything else, you, you just get used to it. it. It really is, there's no... It's going to be down to the individual at the end of the day. Some people are going to go, oh, it's a gadget and it does does stuff. And other people will just go, not for me. Um, which is always the way of things. And, and I'm not here to convince you that it's the next best thing. It just does what it does. Um, so, that will probably be the next review. Um, Shane, um, it pumps until you let your finger off the button. I know you cannot alter the amount it pumps. It just pumps until you take your finger off the button. That's it. The, the flow is the same the entire time. Um, what's quite funny is if, if you let the battery, you know, it's MOSFET, you know, the the battery goes down when you get down to like 3.8 3.7 volts and then you push the button you can hear the pump starting to go just a little bit slower um, it's like a car cranking over you know on a, on a, on a flat battery it kind of goes that anyway I'll keep that for the, re the review um, yeah wow we've got two thumbs down awesome Thank you very much for your thumbs down. It means a lot to me. Um, you can pull it apart. You know, you want to. I'm not pulling it apart in this video. Not in this video. Uh, right. I think the last thing I've got to show you, mention. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. Last thing I've got to mention is, um, hang on, here we go, up close, uh, come to daddy, this, um, this, and uh, I know Michael mentioned this earlier on, but um, I just like, um, I just like ignoring Michael, because he's a failed reviewer, and um, yeah, one day I hope I fail as much as he did at reviewing. Some say I'm doing that already. I'm only joking, by the way. I love Michael. Uh, right, this is Pioneer stuff. So this is the Pioneer Sure tank. This is the Pioneer S, which is a tank for pre-built coils. From This is a GD Mods. Did a review for this already. Um, and they also sent on the Pioneer 1.5, uh, which, yeah. Anyway, this, this, this is the, the extended tank, by the way. You have to buy this tank separately. Uh, I think this is uh, about 6 mil with this tank. Uh, the other tank it comes with, which is, um, is, is somewhere around here. I'm not sure where. Somewhere safe. Um, it's like a full um, polycarb tank. Um, so, anyway, the deck, that just pulls off like that. Um, it, it's it's a vertical wicker. Uh, you have just flow control. You have just flow control. Um, and 
it's it's pretty straightforward this and it comes with a, a gazillion pins as well uh, one of the things I've noticed straight away is you don't notice that when it's on a mod and you're vaping but it's it still does it uh, also uh, this might not work just now that's my juice flow control open and this should be my tank hey how long did that take to get juice everywhere yes you should really do that upside down um so yeah you, you fill it like that and um and uh, and yeah i i i suck at this this is why i have a blue roll dispenser in the shed i don't actually have to vape anymore i just pour juice over my hands um so i i, I will say the flavour from this is tremendous. I really rate the flavour from this. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, there's a couple of niggles with it, but I still think the flavour from it's great. Uh, the other thing... Uh, oh, I'm not going to do the Pioneer S just now. Uh, Pioneer 1.5. Um, or I might. I might. If I, if I can find it, I might. Um... There's a mouth-to-lung, uh, an RDL, and a DL coil that you can get for this thing. Um, and w once again, the flavour took a little bit to come in in this one. Um, this is the tank that comes with it. I think it only holds 2.5mm. Uh, there is a tank extension for it, which they never sent on. But uh, I'm really enjoying the flavour from this also. Um Do you have that wobble with the um, uh, this broccoli clone clean looks like a har? Just the you lot are just so sad. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Hello, Saudi Arabia. Uh, senior Todd. I'm yes, I suppose I am senior now. I'll be 53 this year. That makes me. Does that make me very senior, like Mick Blizzard senior, or just seniorish? Uh, anyway, um, I can't remember Dennis if it wobbles like that with a regular tank or not. Uh, I, I really can't remember. Um, <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I'm going to vape something. Hang on. If you get the Pioneer S, that's really nice flip. That that uh, obviously I'm vaping with uh, my um, Jedi's Punk, um, which is covered in juice. Obviously, there's more juice in the outside of the bottle, uh, which is yeah. Um, it tastes really good with this pre-built coil, but only after a couple of mil had gone through it. Um, Optimist, uh, I've already, it's already, it's already there, mate. It's already there. Uh, just go and look for the shed, and uh, it's there. Um, right, I'm, I really am covered in juice here. <laughs> A lot of people are complaining about the Pulse AIO frame. There's a statement for you. Um... I saw somebody having a go at him. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to go out on a limb. As always, uh, this is just my observation or my take on things. It doesn't mean it's right. It doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just what I think. Uh, you're all adults. You know that. Um, Tony B gets some flack. Um... Uh, I'm not a huge Vandy Vape fan. I don't usually re review gear for Vandy Vape, to be honest. Um, I, I bought my Pulse CIO, if I remember right. Um, and then people saying that it started cracking. Um, shit happens. Um, you would would have, you would have hoped, you would have hoped that in their testing phase. Uh, repeated testing uh, using a bank of testers 
that that fault would have come to light before they went to production. It didn't. Or maybe it did and they just went for it. Um, but, I mean, it had adjustable an adjustable 510 pin. And you didn't have to crank down the top. Whatever. It still cracked. Um, shit happens. So what did they do? They replaced them for people. That's, that's what a, a good company would do, is replace it for people. Uh, and now they've come out with an updated one as well. Uh, updated top section. So they've gone back and done a redesign on it, and if people have a cracked one, they're replacing it. How awesome's that? There's a company that's supporting its product. They're going, okay, we cocked up, drop us an email, we'll send you a new one out. I mean, you get recalls in cars, you get recalls in everything, shit happens. Um, it costs, and I'm going to be probably piss people off. It's it's not that expensive. I mean, it's not that expensive a device. I I know I know it depends on your budget. Uh, I'm not. I get that, but in the grand scheme of things, um, and you are getting support and you are getting looked after. He does get flack, he's a US version of you. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's. We, I mean, I know a lot of you have worked in the vape game uh, or, or even worked in shops. I mean, I worked in shops, vape shops, for a, three years. Um, <laughs> The stuff we used to get returned, and you would go, how did you manage to do that? It wasn't a fault with the mod, it was just people breaking shit. Shit gets broken. But that company is looking after their customers, and I think that's brilliant. Uh, the written response was a bit backhanded, though. You're not using it right. What you want to do? What do you want to come around to your house and give you a cuddle? I... I get what you're saying, but at, at the end of the day, they're they're only I mean, he's only human. The bloke's only human. He's probably frustrated to hell that he's sold. Let's just say he sold ten thousand of them, and there's like a few hundred people are having issues and they're broken. And he's only human. Um. Anyway. It's very easy. Oh, shut up, Mark. Shut up. Uh, right. Yes. So there you go. There's the pulse. Um, I I don't know Tony that well. I don't. I've met him once. I don't know him that well. He's not a mate or anything like that. Um, but that's just my observation from out with everything that I've seen going on. Uh, <laughs> You worked in a vape shop that returns because you set them up for customers. No, mate, that's that's why <laughs> that's why they made me the area, area manager uh, because um, I I got so fed up dealing with the public. <laughs> if one more person came in and went, uh, what vape juice do you rec? What vape oil do you recommend, mate? I would just go mad. So they made me the boss. What a foolish thing to do. Um, so yeah, Mark, absolutely. Uh, an omelette. An omelette would have been nice as well. Uh, rule for life, don't over tighten stuff. I'm saying nothing. I still over tighten stuff from time to time. Uh, who should we talk to about my heart and KO problems then? What you should really do is send an email to Van and Dell. Uh, I can give you their email address if you would like, and uh, they'll get back to you within their usual time frame. I think they work on a leap year basis. Um, it's it's a creation thing. It's a creation thing. Um, <laughs> Uh, 
the thing with the hair was that um, there was nothing wrong with the hair. The hair was perfect. It's just because the majority of people bought it and didn't know how to build. That was me being sarcastic, by the way, just in case you didn't get that. Um, <laughs> uh, what was the one I saw the other day? No, I'm not going to go into that. Right, you, you've got me. I'm gibbering now. Um, that's everything that is sitting here in the review queue just now. Um, I have other stuff on the way, but I'll not talk about that just now because... As always with this stuff, uh, I get told that I'm getting sent gear to review. And usually about 50% of it turns up, some of it doesn't. And, and it's, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. When you're getting stuff for free, when you're a, a freeloader like myself, um, you don't ask, you don't go begging, you don't, don't, don't do that. Don't go begging for free shit. Um, if it turns up, it turns up. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's it. Um, <laughs> right I'm going to have a quick tidy up um, if you have anything you want to ask now is the time to do it uh, if not go away and get on with your Sunday um, other juice I'm vaping today is, is Digby's I'm still I'm almost finished my Digby's mum's custard thoroughly enjoyed vaping that again Um To be fair, Croatia has a lot going on. How is your day going so far? I've been awake since about three o'clock. Yeah, I'm pretty wrecked to be honest. I think, I think it stopped raining, so I'm going to go out and do the garden. Um, because if I go and sit down, I'd really like to go and sit down and watch some shit daily. But, um, yeah, I've got to do the garden. That's just one of the shit things of having a garden, is you have to maintain it. Um, I watched, what did I watch last night? I watched um, the new Firestarter. <sighs> terrible. Well, it wasn't terrible. In fairness, it was just as good as the original Firestarter film, which was also terrible. In fact, the book was terrible as well. Um, so I'm not surprised. Uh, please do a raffle for one of your patrons to win a chance to make a purchase from the Hall of Eight Models Gallery. Ah. Um, go for a nice walk and take the crawler with you. And drone. I'd love to do that. I'd love to do that. Um, I actually got out with the drone yesterday after... Uh, not the drone, the, the crawler yesterday afternoon. Um... I'm waiting on new new bits to arrive for it. I've got uh, a sorry, <laughs> this is so boring. Um, I've got a servo relocation doodah coming. So it's the, that, yeah, getting that weight down in the front, getting the weight down in the front. So um, yeah. Uh, ever heard of Russian twill woven stainless steel mesh? Revitalize my RSST. Jesus crap. Mark, where do you, you... What I love about you, Mark, is you're the man that still lives in 2014. It's brilliant. Um, <laughs> did you ever get there? Remember, there was an Australian company that had an... Uh, there was... They took that... It was like, it's like a, almost like a slam chamber that totally changed the RSST. It made it really, really good. Um, what the hell was that called again? Uh, if, if, let's see if I've still got a... Yeah, I think I've still got a YouTube channel. I should do a broadcast on it. There it the, uh Was it this? Yeah, the RSST TSI top cap insert for the RSST by Fusion Mods. Um, holy shit, that was that that video went live in 2013. 2013. <gasps> but it did. It transformed it. It made it really, really good. Um, 
take a look at the offer. I'll take a look at the offer. Um, have you got the DJI Mini 3 Pro drone in order? No. I, I have, uh, hand on heart, I have no reason to upgrade. Um, the obstacle avoidance, the extra sensors, yeah, kind of appealing, but not necessary as such for what I do. Um, yeah, I, I don't feel the need for it myself. Um, and the fact, <laughs> I mean, you can change the camera angle so you can record for TikTok. Seriously, who gives a flying monkeys about that? Um, so, no, the, the the three is not... The controller uh, I'm interested in, but that's that's about it. Um, Firestarter was way worse than Christine. As a petrol head... That bit when he goes, he stands in front of her and he just goes, show me. And then the music kicks off and it just, everything starts popping out and Christy, that's just one of the best scenes in any film. It wasn't that great a film to be fair, but it just still, as a petrol head, just... Um, Shane, you're going to servo on Axel. Yes, I am. That's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, servo on Axel. Um... What model crawler do you run? Um, <laughs> I can I hang on. Well, I don't know if I want to show this. Can I? Can I? I'll tell you what. I'll, I can hide that column. Just, I'll hide that column just now. I, I don't want anybody knowing exactly how much I spent. <laughs> I don't want my wife knowing how much I spent this. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Hang on. I started off with the the builder's kit, and and then as gearbox, wheels, tires, blah blah blah, uh, electro. But I just got the. Uh, I've just fitted a high clearance link kit. That's what I'm waiting on coming. The servo and axle mount. And I've just fitted the short shocks as well. And uh, yeah, sorry, that's that's possibly enough of the boring stuff. That's. Yes. Sorry, told you it would get boring. Um. <sighs> Boom! That wee thing. So when I get my servo up here, I'm going to get that mounted down here, and then I'll be able to drop the entire body down. So, because the body sits kind of high on it just now, so... Uh, but... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know that's really boring to a lot of folk. I know that's really boring. Um... Uh, chassis has servo and axle OEM, so uh, no, that's not. Uh, you flown into a tree. I did fly into a tree with my drone, and I made the mistake of uh, sharing that publicly, which I should never have done. Uh, what time is it out here? It is 13.44. Uh, Christine was the best car movie. Oh, I don't know if it was the best car movie. Um... Uh, uh, the, it's the 1080 ESC I've got, isn't it? It's the 1080. Have I written down? Ah, it's the 1080 I've got. Uh, I probably have 15 years with 1060s. Does it take a 21700? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Um, Memo 83, you have a great day as well. Uh, this is the first time I've not seen an album jacket on display. Yeah, I was dusting. I, I was dusting. That's why it's not there. Um, and that is it. Right. I think we've been going for long enough. That's an hour. That's a full bizardo, as we like to say. Um, once again, um, 
Oh, where did it go? There we go. Don't forget, Hall of Vape at the end of June. I shall be there. I hope you shall be there. And I hope to see you there. Um, and exit. Stage left. Have a good Sunday, guys. And thank you for watching. Bye.